there are a handful of ways you can log into your Google site. And I'd kind of like to show you maybe three or four here, um, just different ways that you might access your site and sign in. Um, the easiest way, if you have it all set up, uh, where you have a domain name like winnersheekfarmersmarket.com and you just haven't logged in for a while, you're wondering what to do, uh, just check out the bottom of the page here. There's a little link that says sign in. Um, you click that and it'll be taken to uh, the place where you can sign in. If you don't happen to have a domain name yet, but you do remember your URL that's always there, the sites.google.com slash site slash uh, your site. This in, in this case, it's a Winnersheek Farmers Market. Um, you can visit that and you also see that same sign-in link. Well, maybe you, you forgot all about that and uh, you just know it's a Google site. Uh, what I like to do is just type in Google Sites into Google and you'll see the, um, the, the link here to sites.google.com. Um, if you click on that, you also go to um, the same place where you can sign in. And once you're signed in, um, you will see your site there. Now, and then you just click on that and you can edit it. So another possibility would be that uh, you're used to checking your email all the time. Um, let's make sure I'm signed in here. But um, where's your site? Well, if you look under this More tab up in the menu bar there, you'll see Sites. Um, that's probably the third or fourth way to get to your Google Sites. So once again, um, the sign-in link at the bottom of the page, whether that's uh, going to your domain name and down or just the, the one that Google gives you. Um, typing sites.google.com right into the, into the bar up there or searching for Google Sites and then logging in or if you're already logged in a lot of times right under sites um, or under more you'll find sites.